Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and I'm going to take on the challenge that earned a man a tattoo. On a 12 streak as well, which is risky. I'm going to play as Jacob and Ezel. I despise these characters, but we really, really, really need to try and get the tainted versions unlocked. But let's just give it a go, see how things go, and we'll just sort of go on from there. So yeah, let's just jump in. As Jacob and Ezo and see what we can get done. Uh, I'm hoping that because we have less lag now, they should be a little more playable. Honestly, already off the bat, I'm noticing it's far more pleasant. It's still not perfect, but it's far more pleasant than it used to be. Uh, far, far more pleasant indeed. So yeah, we'll go. Obviously, we'll go the alt path so we can get extra items, but we'll see what we can get to start off with here. There's a kill switch there. Honestly, Evil Eye ain't that good. I think I'm going to give it to you just because you have more damage. Um, I've never really sort of had a good run with Evil Eye. It's one of those items that, like, I feel like it, it's got... Oh, bad hit there. I feel like it's got the potential to be really impactful. And it just never really lives up to that potential. Like, it doesn't have a high enough chance to activate its effect. And when it does, like, the fact that it just, like, fires in the direction you were shooting when it first shot means that it can't really hit enemies very easily. It's, it's, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Um, kind of interesting here. Um, I mean, to start off with, this... Actually, to be fair, this is, this is like a worse deal, but I think I'd go for it here instead, just because. Either way, one second, I just need to pause. Apologies about that, we are back so early into the recording. Um, my, my girlfriend just came home, so I ended up talking to her for like half an hour. Um... I, like, I always seem to have this uncanny ability to, like, start my episodes right before she gets home. And it's weird, because, like, it's always at, like, very different times as well. There's an evil eye. Look at it go. But, yeah, we got our health back there. I think getting the, the triple keys there was pretty worthwhile. Just because it's going to sort us out key-wise for a while. And especially if we're going downpour, we need the one key to enter. And then we need all the extra keys to make sure we can open up all the item rooms. Because there's nothing worse than going downpour and actually not being able to take advantage of the, uh extra loot that we could be getting on the floor because we don't have enough keys, so I think it makes sense to just grab that now. Either way, as for the question of the day to day, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. if you could live in one game world, where would it be? What would be the, the game world you'd like to live in? I think that could be an interesting one. Ooh, get a nickel there. That's nice for a soul heart, maybe. I think my issue with these guys is always a lack of HP. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The library certificate is so good. And Humbling Bundle is also so good. Library Certificate would be absolutely immense to grab, but I highly doubt we're going to get enough money unless maybe we get a pageant boy. Um, it, there's, there's always a chance of a pageant boy. I never want to say it's guaranteed, but there's always a chance. There's always a chance. And I feel like pageant boy is one of those items that I don't get very often, but I, I feel like I do get it when I ask for it, like a decent amount. It's not super, super common, but it has happened, like, more than it should have in the past sort of thing. Let me take out this guy. But yeah, having the reduction in lag, it's definitely not completely gone, but the reduction in lag while playing these guys is significantly helpful. Um, it's really, really nice. Do you know, I suppose we could get a matchbook as well, which could potentially give us enough money. Uh, got hit on my soul heart boy there, which doesn't bird well. But yeah, I've taken a gamble here on my 12 win streak, which... I'm really proud of it at the minute. I think we've been doing really well. I mean, I know one of them we did technically lose, but that was due to a bug that really we definitely shouldn't have lost that run because that run was going immensely well until that bug. So we would have won it anyways, I think. Um, so I'm glad I'm glad it didn't wipe our streak. I'm glad it let us, let us keep going. Righty her. Come on, Evil Eye. Can you like, yeah, proc a little more often, please? Right, so what we're going to get. Unfortunately, we got Old Bandage, which isn't really what we were looking for. Um, I think we're going to go Old Bandage on you, and we're going to take the Burn Heart on you. Because I think taking the Burn Heart on you means we can protect our Devil Deal a little bit, which is nice. Um, and then we're going to go... Boom, boom. Yeah, fully fill it up. Unfortunately, we're not going to get library certificate this run. Uh, we didn't get a bomb or anything, so it is what it is, unless we get a bomb out of this room. I always forget this holding room can have stuff in it. Unfortunately, not today. Um, but here we go. Oh, there's a tinted rock in there as well. Very upsetting to get no bombs on the first floor in that situation. Very upsetting indeed. Now, this is one of the floors I can like a bit more, just due to the water spurts and stuff. But I feel like with the reduction of lag overall, because of like the changes I made to my mod setup... Um, 
we're actually in a really good position because, um... This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. We're actually in a really good position because it's like, this is like what used to be my base level of lag. So there's our bomb, of course. Why does the game always do that to you? It's always like, oh, you wanted a bomb? Well, here's one just a bit too late. Just a tiny bit too late. But yeah, let's let's do our due diligence here and try and take advantage of everything we can. I don't think I want to take a pill at this situa at this like time. I feel like that could be pretty bad for us. I can't remember how these guys work. I'm pretty sure they smack the floor and whack stuff at us. It seems like actually, wait, I've just ah oh, okay. This is actually a pretty clever room. Um, essentially, if I'd had, if I'd have just not done anything this room, I could have got away with um, basically. Having to not do anything there and just let the enemies kill themselves, which would have been rather nice. Uh, so there's a bit of a wasted opportunity there, but it's it's fine. And we got some pot boys as well. Not pot boys, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, bucket boys. Oh, dude, this room is jam packed. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! <laughs> that was fucking rude. Okay, so we now are at um, severe risk of. Not only dying, but losing our devil deal, um, which would be big sucky. Oh, come on now. One of you die, please. This is an annoying room as well. There you go. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to go to my shop and try and buy a red heart. Normally, you can buy red hearts or a soul heart would be fine. Uh, so we'll buy the red heart there. We'll buy this as well. Um, we got one of each. Nice. Um, fortunately, can't buy that. Okay, yeah. Devil Deal is at risk here, but at least we're not at risk of insta-dying now. Uh, a champion can't just end our run anymore. Good thing is, of course, playing as these characters, we do have the initial double DPS that they get. I do not like how close these guys are getting to us. Especially the Fatsos, because they have quite the spread to them. Nice. Okay, we got it. And there's an extra bomb as well. And we get our double items here, which should hopefully yield something nice. Max HP at the start of floor, spawn a random heart pickup. Um, that's really good. We'll definitely take that on you. And also we got the skinny mushroom too, which makes our characters... Oh god, look at him. Look at him. Wowie, this is hilarious. Is that meant to be a, a pizza tower reference, I think? I don't know. I don't know. I've not really played pizza tower. I've been told to play it a bunch of times. I don't even know what it is, really. It looks like... I don't know. It's not... It not it's not put, give me any interest or reason to play it so far, but there you go. But yeah, Lanky Mushroom is pretty good. Um, should help us out. And we'll try and take out Clog here. Uh, of which I don't actually know how this is going to go. I can't remember what this version of Clog does. I'll be honest. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is going to be hard to dodge. I think I am going to get two bombs in there as well. Yeah, that was immensely useful. Okay, so this version of Clog is actually not too bad. He just spawns a lot of um, leeches, which are actually pretty easy for us to deal with. Nice. So we got our Devil Deal. Um, I Do I want to go Devil Deal here? I, I'm... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll at least check it. Okay, this is tricky. This is tricky. Because this, obviously this item here is real good. Um, I think we take Lusty Blood. And I think we take... Um, I think we take the Book of Lucifer as well. Mini, bo Guaranteed mini bosses are kind of nice. Extra damage is kind of nice. Um, and we continue on to the next floor. Definitely a bit of a risk here. I really shouldn't be trading away HP as these guys, but we've just got ourselves quite a lot of damage, and we just got ourselves a burn heart, which is rather nice too. I'm going to leave that on the floor until we get a red heart to fill it with, um, even though it could protect our devil deal. I don't think it's super necessary that we need it now. But yeah, now we've actually got some potentially really good damage output here. Um, a lot better than we had before. Ooh, these enemies have changed. Did they used to do that? Did they used to do that? But yeah, we've got some potentially really good damage output now, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, Kins, I... Who's got Evil Eye? Whoever's got Evil Eye needs this instead, because it can produce your tier effects, right? And we got the D4, which... Doubt I'm going to use at any point, but hey her. I've just got to make sure to not accidentally use it, which I say make sure. I definitely will accidentally use it at some point here. 
But yeah, I, I took the, the one on Evil Eye because I'm pretty sure that our Kane's eye can um, can indeed trigger our Evil Eye. Which just means extra chance for it, which is nice. So I want to be pressing space or Q? No, Q. I want to be pressing Q. Always, basically never touch space, always press Q. And yeah, guaranteed mini boss does add some, uh, some potential strife into our run and difficulty. But we did just get ourselves... Oh, I did not mean to pick up that red heart. Thank God you gave me another one. Dude, you, your telegraphs are a bit a bit evil. Um, really, really hard to uh, to get out of the way of. And then we want to give this to you, my lad. Just so we've both got a bit of protection here. And I want to give that to you. Does mean that one of our characters now has significantly more health, but it's okay. We're playing the game. We're trying to get around it best we can. Careful of these little dropper boys, because they, they will drop on me. And with our double size hitbox, that is not very nice at all. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Oh, God. Okay, yeah, that our damage now is, is a lot, lot better. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Little bit of extra money there. Nice, nice. Two of these fellas. Yeah, our damage output is so much better than it previously was. Q again. And then this guy's going to keep stacking damage. I really like the guaranteed mini boss effect as well. It's unnecessary in terms of, like, for the item's power. You, you wouldn't need it for the item to still be good. But it's nice. Secret room wise, I will try my best. Oh, we so we got another mini boss here. This this the other one was a normal mini boss. This is our guaranteed mini boss. Interesting that it was the same mini boss. Good to know. Uh, right, okay. Secret room wise, we've got a few options here. Um, I think it's here, so I'm I'm, I'm gonna take it from the position that's a little easier to place the bomb. Cause just because this this looks very secret roomy. Um. We'll also do a bomb here as well, just to, just to blow up some pots. And there you go, we got it right, nice one. Um, ooh, lovely, 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 lovely. Please don't get hit by this thing. It'd be really annoying if I did. Nice, so now we get a soul heart for each character. I'll blow you up as well for a bit of cash. Lovely. Okay, reasonably happy with how things are going thus far. I don't think there's anything too terrible about this run. I would like a bit more HP on Ezel, but otherwise things are looking rather dandy. Okay. Just careful for the jumpies. Once he does the jumpies, that's when things start getting tough. In fact, please hit one of these bombs, thank you. There you go. The jumpies are the only thing I ever worry about with this guy. Everything else is kind of a cakewalk. Nice. We did get another devil deal here. Consolation prize we're going to give to you for more damage, potentially. No, more range. Right. Um, we did indeed get Veil of Darkness here. Oh god, he's close. Veil of Darkness uh, grants Curse of Blight three black hearts of damage up on one of these random items. This is tricky. Curse of Blight isn't that bad. I don't really mind Curse of Blight. Plus three Black Hearts is pretty mega. I think I'm going to take this. Um, although that would leave us with no Red Hearts remaining. There's definitely a risk. I'm going to do it anyways. What the hell? And we got Dark Judas. Okay. So that's actually... Oh my god, our character. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Because um, now we have an out, essentially. Um, of course, we're going to go this floor again. Wait a minute. Let me line my boys back up. Now we have an out, essentially. Obviously, we would have to die as that character to get the revive. But now, we actually have a way of um, of progressing. If we uh, if we end up dying as Jake Bonisa, which is, of course, really nice backup to have. Um, more soul hearts are going to you for now. Uh, we want to go Q. Please don't use spacebar. Okay, what are you guys? The underground fellas. You love bombs, right? Yes, you do. Don't really know what's going on with this guy, to be honest, but I don't really like it. Oh, fuck. Ugh, I fucking hate it when that happens. You get split and there's just nothing you can do. You walk against a rock and it's like, oh, tough shit. You walk next to a rock. It's game over for you, buddy. You're getting hit. 
This guy's going to fire a lot of shots. Yep. Go in here again. Look for a soul heart. We do have a soul heart. That's going to ease out this time. Lovely. I think we're spreading the health evenly. <laughs> Izao being really, really lanky and completely made of darkness is just hilarious here. Oh, dude. You can't become this... You can't... No, I'm sorry, but you can't give me this little enemy that makes everything invincible and sit it over the top of some rocks. Okay, thank you for not being completely a horrible asshole. But that was a little bit gross. Little bit gross. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I was just about to say, there's no way I'm not taking damage here. These enemies are horrible at the best of time. Okay, you managed to hit an exploding... An exploding rock there and get me. I hate these enemies. The movement just... It, it wigs me out. Wigs me out real bad. Can you fucking stop? Oh my god, why do you have to be a champion? Why do you have to be a champion? Like, they don't hit you very easily, but goddamn, they're just so frustrating to fight. Um, and then we've got it hurts plus something else. I think we'll go like this. We got it hurts and little horn. There is a D6 over there, but that's too much stress for me. Secret room. We're not seeing where that is right now. Little Haunt's pretty nice, though. I like Little Haunt. Um, obviously, the fear can be problematic, but for the most part, it's fine. I, I don't find fear as anywhere near as problematic as some people seem to. Some people seem to think it's like, oh, you feared an enemy? It's instant death. <laughs> but I, I, th I don't think fear is all that bad. Okay, this thing does fire. Yep. Dude, I'm not getting that other coin. You can... You can chill out there, guy. You can chill out there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, you have the little thingies. Oh, my God. That room was scary. I didn't... I didn't, I didn't realise what I was coming up against there. I didn't really realise the what enemies they were. I don't think I'd ever fought those before. Oh, that was so stupid. That was so unbelievably stupid. I went for the, the bomb and then, like, immediately realized that there was almost no reason for me to do that. Um, on you, we will do that. And we get... Oh, we got tank boys! Although we only... For some reason, when you use Soul of Lilith, you only get one of the tank boys. You don't get both. Which is always... I always found really weird. But still, tank boys is really nice here. Oh, dude, we got split up again. Fuck you. He can be a little mischievous, I will say, because uh, he can deal damage to you by firing rockets. But for the most part, he's not that bad. We are definitely going to need some more health for our um, Jacob. Get out of here. What's going on exactly? I'm so confused. Okay, that was slightly confusing. Bomb that. Okay, it's 15 cent. Was, have we seen the shop already? We have. What was in the... I can't remember what items are in the shop. I'm fairly sure there isn't a grey item in the shop, otherwise we'd remember it. But yeah, we sort of want to keep... Like, let tank boys do their own thing. And not get too in the way. And basically just don't stand near walls or, or too close to enemies. Um, we'll do that. What trinket we got here? 20% chance for any damage dealt. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bomb that off of the spike there. And we'll take that as you, because you've got red health. Good, 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 good. Nice, nice. Uh, secret room could very well be down from there. That looks pretty promising for secret room, actually. Oh, God. Again, enemies that move in this pattern just wig me out. I can't... I can't do it. My brain. It don't work so good. Oh, no, we've already been to Secret Room. Don't don't bomb there. That would be idiotic. Right, let's go to the next floor. Well, do the boss first and then go to the next floor. Oh, you fucking motherfucker. We are going to lose so much HP here. I absolutely... I just... I, my, my brain does not comprehend how to fight this boss correctly. 
Like, look at this. What, what am I meant to do here? This guy's encroaching on me, and I can't fucking get away. And, like, he went into his invincible phase over the top of some rocks, so I couldn't hit him. It's like, come on now. Ah, oh, this... This fucking boss, as Jake when E's out, is just absolutely cancer. Like, what the fuck is go- What's going on? This is stupid. I got hit so many fucking times there. That's just ridiculous. Just fucking ridiculous. I hated that. That boss, like, as any other character, I find that boss tough at the best of times. But as Jacob and Ezo, god damn, you are in for some hard times. I love the fact that the heart comes in a pizza box. Um, I give that to you. So yeah, a lot of HP lost there for not, not any good reason, really. And we'll do that. Dude, I'm, I'm, we're split again, we're split again. I can't. I'm split. Fuck you. I'm split. Fuck, 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 fuck. I hated that. God damn it, game. You savage, savage bitch. Okay, now this is the time where fear's fucking annoying. I don't want you all the way over there. Walk into my shots, you little prick. Nice. What's that? Is that... Mr. Boom, our bomber boy, I can't... Ooh, that's a spike chest. Fucking realign, you fucking shitheads. Okay, that's Mr. Boom. Uh, I want to take that as you then, because I really don't want to accidentally D4. And Mr. Boom is actually pretty useful for us, so happy days. This enemy is just horrible. <laughs> Thank you, Rocket Boy. Yeah. Extra keys. Again, we don't really need them, but hey her. Extra stuff for us, I guess. I, I'm unsure what's going on here. Do I need to... Ah, oh, you fucking shithead. I'm talking to myself here, by the way, when I say that. You can see as well, though, things have already started to go awry. That's placard. Obviously, I don't know what the other one is. Um, doesn't matter who takes placard, to be honest. And we get stolen plaque. I don't know what the other item was. Oh, nice. Okay, this is actually a pretty good item. Um, once our tears travel a certain distance, they become um, spectral and herming, I think. Yeah, that's exactly it. Kind of got it on the wrong character, really, but overall pretty good. But yeah, taking a lot more damage than we should have done here. I'm hoping we don't take too much more. Shop, how are you? I just really want HP and that's pretty much it. Of course, of course. Why wouldn't it be? More damage, good, good. Don't like what's going on here. This guy's on fire now, which I'm unsure what that means for me. Luckily, I got past it fairly easily. Don't know what this guy in the middle does. Apparently nothing. Apparently he's not interested in doing anything. That... That's an active item, I think. I think that's Yuck Heart. Not Yuck Heart, the Morbid... The one that generates Morbid Hearts. I think it's that one, which I don't think is any good for us, because obviously we don't have enough Red Hearts to sustain that. Oh, damn, nice. We managed to get that hit there. This is pretty horrible, too. Okay. 
Okay, this wasn't a bad singe fight at all. Uh, try and stay away from him when he dies, please. <laughs> wasn't a bad singe fight at all, and we'll take that as you. And then we'll reconvene. Check out the Devil Deal, mainly just to see if there's any uh, hearts in there. Don't really know what our items are here, so I'm probably not going to take any, because we've got basically three circles. That one's the whistle thing. Um, these two, I have absolutely no idea. They're two just circles, so I'm not going to bother. Um, we're going to go down to the next floor, normal. And then we've got to make sure to find our fool card. We got an eternal heart here. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'm not sure who to take this as. I'm gonna leave that there for now because it's right next to the exit door. It does seem that the uh, the heart it gives you is weighted towards being a special heart rather than just a red heart. Oh, dude, I forgot this enemy did that. This enemy needs to die like right now. I do see that tinted rock as as well. Oh, there was creep there. There was creep on the floor. You bastard. Didn't see it. And also didn't get a soul heart out of our Tinted Rock. That's always like one of the most disappointing things that can happen in Isaac. When you're so desperate for HP. And Tank Boy got me. Tank Boy goddamn got me. When you're so desperate for HP and the game's like, nah. I know that sometimes these give two soul hearts, but this time it's going to give literally nothing of the sort. Oh, and by the way, the chest it gives you is also going to have nothing in it. Dude, does this enemy, can it stop? Please? How come we've overcharged our active? Where do we get this overcharge from? But yeah, fi finally our tank boy got us hit. It was bound to happen at some point. And then here... <laughs> Game. You, you do know how to troll, don't you? You do know how to troll. Store credit. I can't remember. Is store credit the one that... Um... Fucking, I want to see what the store credit does. Allows Isaac to take one uh, shop item for free. Does that work on devil deals? I don't think it does, does it? I'm thinking, of the, I'm thinking of the other one, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. I think I'm thinking of the other one. Yeah, so at the minute, I'm definitely worried for our amount of HP, but otherwise, this is going pretty well. He tried to fire a missile there again. Cheeky, cheeky boy. Cheeky, chappy. I hate this layout. This layout's just like a recipe for getting hit. Yep. No HP. Um, Is that another active? Is that the one that gives us the immoral hearts? I think it is. Yes, it is. That, that, that's actually pretty good. Um, We'll pop that. Pop that. Okay, so now we have a bit of a way to generate HP. It's a five room charge, which is a bit janky. But that's it's fine. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, the, um, that missile was spot on, lad. Um, I'm pretty sure the, the little babies that it spawns, like, you know, the things that attack once you get hit, don't work in the beast fight. I'm pretty sure they just fall straight into the lava. So it's not really giving us any extra DPS for the boss. <clears throat> Obviously, there's no chances of getting a heart back. Can you, this creep fucking go away? There you go. Right, still on the lookout for our full card. Haven't found that yet. I know you're going to launch an explosion. You shit. Full card is still yet to be seen. Can't remember what that laugh means. Oh, it means these guys are about. I don't never really know with these guys. They seem like they can be really hard, but most of the time they don't do anything. They kind of stop before they hit you. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know what's going on here. Why have neither of these opened? And I'm confused. That was con that was ultimately quite confusing. Oh god, you do that little dash, don't you? Our, um, I'm gonna say I don't think our fool's go a fool card can be in here. This is this. I was just about to say this. About what seems right for the room, and it is in here. Okay, so now we're onto a bit of a sketchy situation with our brother. Bomb that real quick. Take it as you. Ugh. Do not like the look of this room. A lot of shit to process here. Luckily the Hermie is helping out a good bit. The 
creep doesn't help as well. There's a lot of creep about. Nice key. Keep popping that damage. Only thing is, our damage is going to be pretty low for the actual fight because we've been popping this damage the whole time and we're not going to have that when it comes to the boss fight because it's been stacking up over the, over the course of the floor. That's no longer an option for us later on. There's a soul heart. Give that to... Ugh. Why can't I move him separately? Oh, I really don't like this. Really don't like this. Why is the string bean boy getting so far away from you? Oh, you little fat fucker. Ugh, why did you do that, you fucking shit? I get so frustrated when playing these characters, because there's just... I feel like there's so many situations... I mean, that was avoidable damage. I'm not going to deny that. But I feel like there's a lot of situations where damage feels more unavoidable. Because your hitbox is just fucking massive. Anyone that denies having a massive hitbox isn't an absolutely colossal downside of this character is in denial. Or just plain stupid. At least we've got a morbid heart as this guy. That does give us essentially an extra hit. And we are going to get an eternal heart at the end of this floor that is pretty much guaranteed, which is nice. These enemies are tragic. I actually can't believe we didn't get hit there. Oh, dude, the slippies. No, 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 no. Not with the slippies. No, thank you. Right, we've got a full card, right? Yes, we do. Um, we are good to go. Boss fight it is. Tank boy could be problematic here, so let's be aware. Oh my god. Got hit and not on the one we want to be, want to be getting hit on, really. At least we've reached full damage now from all of the uh, kills we've got. What the fuck? Oh, for f I lost my morbid heart. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Right. Oh my god, sir. So, I don't like that being there. That scares the shit out of me. Um, who wants the damage? You want the damage, I think. This scares the shit out of me. I'm scared I'm going to accidentally enter the void. And then we full card out of here. Then... Oh, wait. Okay. Didn't think about this. I picked up the HP back as the diff as the other character, so I can trade HP to who needs it most. That's kind of interesting. I didn't really think about that. Right. Ease out. You're going there. Yeah. Okay. We want to keep the negative. Good. Good. Right. I have got enough keys to check for soul hearts here or burn hearts for that matter. Um, I think yes on this front. Thank you and. Okay, not bad, not bad. Right, down to the next floor. Yeah, I didn't think about the fact that we could essentially trade the HP to another character for the cost of only half a heart of damage. And we got another one back there as well, nice. Um, okay, this floor is likely to be pretty rough. It's already pretty rough. This first room has wrecked me. Strength doesn't do too much for us, but I'll grab it. Um, base bar there. Don't know what's going on with this room. There's a chain chomp or something of the like. I think I've got to kill the chain, right? Not him. Okay, the chain has, the chain has decided to get up. I don't like this. This is a really awkward situation to kill this thing. I'm having a really hard time hitting it and it's got a fucking ton of health. Stressful. Stressful, stressful, stressful. These guys are also going to be quite the nightmare. Dude! You didn't have to fire a rocket right then, did you? 
But you did. Okay, so now I can split this between who I want to, but I'm just going to take it as... Oh, wrong fucking guy. God damn it. Took it as the wrong goddamn dude. You fool. Oh my god. Quickly go in here. This is... This is odd, so... One of you needs to teleport. Nope. Is that not something we can do? Okay, no, it is good. Okay, right. Then we need to go like this. Like that. Like that. One of them's an active item. Oh, bollocks. Okay, that was annoying, but we got there in the end. Sadly, it was for an active we didn't like, and the peeper. So, not a, a great lot of success there, I'd be honest. Dude, stop fucking firing rockets at enemies that are that close to me. You've got to know that's fucking stupid, right? You've got to know. You've got to know. You evil little shit. I don't remember what this is. Hmm. It would get rid of the negative. Let me go let me go and check out what this does. Um See if it's worth it. Tinted. Oh come on, tinted treasure mod. Where are you? There you are. Tainted treasure. You've got to have a Wikipedia page, right? Please? Yes. Okay, good. Right. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. A polar of negative. Only spawns when entering unvisited tainted rooms after picking up the polar of negative on depths 2. On pickup, teleports Isaac to the home floor. Fully heals his red heart and spawns a cracked key and 20 additional random items. That is a very good idea right now. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Which character has the negative? You do. I don't think I actually needed to take it as that guy. I don't think it was necessary. But there you go. We basically just shortcutted all the way here. Um... You need this HP here. I think that's Brownie there. I'm pretty sure that's Brownie. So it'd be good damage up for the fight after, but for the first for this fight it'd be absolutely horrendous. I'm not gonna take it. Which is a shame. Spicy keys, I think I'll be alright. And we actually, I just realized, we majorly looked out. Because the only reason we were doing this is to unlock our tainted character, and I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about that, and so we actually got really lucky that it gave us a cracked key there. Wow. Really? Game? Can you just give me a little bit of hope? Control space. Okay. This is going to be kind of rough. It's going to be kind of slow, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Sadly, our damage bonuses from, from both characters are pretty much non-existent here, so we're, we're fighting with very low damage right now. Not much I can do to avoid this, other than, yeah, try my best. Luckily, it worked out. I think Evil Eye is actually, like, working out really well here. We seem to be getting quite a lot of extra DPS out of it. Okay, first phase done, nice and quick. Having a lanky and big from the strength card is kind of scary. Yeah, not much I could do against that one there. Yeah, this is, this is terrible. Oh, you fucker, what? Can you stop? Oh, dude, he's, he's like... He hit my, my character that has, like, no health a bunch of times there.
Oh my god, this is stressful as shit. Fia's doing weird things to his attack patterns as well. Oh, you had to, didn't you? This attack is such BS to dodge as these guys. And he's so weak as well. He's so fucking weak. Got him. Okay. Still, this puts us in a rough spot for our next fight, but it's better than nothing. I think it does heal us up to a certain amount of HP for each character. So we've got that going for us at least. We've already unlocked the Tainted character now as well, so... It gave us our, immor our moral hearts back as well, which is nice. Wasn't expecting that. Luckily as well, it's placed our sprites like directly on top of each other, which helps a ton. Oh my god, how am I meant to not get hit here? How did I not get hit there? Wow, and also our damage. Boy, is it abysmal. Oh, I do not like having red tears from my evil eye in this situation. This is very confusing. What the fuck is all the flies? Does he normally do this? What the fuck's this? What the fuck's this? I don't know this attack. What the hell's all the flies? Enter second phase already, you fat prick. There you go. This is tragic. This is going to be really rough. Oh, wait, did they fly? Nice, okay. That's something, at least. Still annoying that on Jake Manizo, you always seem to get hit on the same character. Like, like I got hit on these guys twice. Why aren't they on top of each other anymore? There you go. Yeah, like, you ne you never get hit, like... One on Ezao, one on Jacob. It's like, no, 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 you're going to hit all hits on Jacob. Or all hits on Ezao. All the red tears are getting really confusing. Flyball, lovely. The fly ball is pretty tragic. I hate it. It won't die. Oh, there's another one. Great. Okay. Oh my god. We actually got some damage and some health there. Holy shit. It's crazy. But yeah, finally we've got our full damage bonus now, so we're dealing quite a bit more damage. Why? He always does this attack when it's, like, really inconvenient. Playing as characters that make this attack a bit harder, and it's like, no, no, okay, okay. Get out of the lava, you shit- oh. Enemies have been shits today. Absolute- oh, fuck you. Where have my little flying buddies gone? Are they just, like, underneath him? No, my little heart buddies are just gone now, apparently. They just died or something. I don't know. Oh, I forgot about this. I don't know why, but I completely forgot this was like... Dude, I got hit on him again. Why? There's so much health to go out on the other dude. There's so much health to go out on the other guy. Take some of that, please. Why is the game like this? Okay, we got through it, but still, I'm really worried about... Do you know, Ezo, get behind me, please. Right, this is going to be tricky. In fact, I've, I've messed up here. I don't want you behind. We're not in line with one another, and I fucking hate it right now. There you go.
Oh wait, does it does it still do the thing where it sucks one of them closer than the other? It fucking well does. This is BS. This is some hardcore fucking stupid BS. I forgot it did this. Oh! I forgot he did that. <laughs> I forgot he did that. Yeah, that's that that that, that affair's there. I, I I forgot that's a thing. So fucking stupid. What are you doing? Can you like Oh really? You're entering another phase? Can you like just like enter your last phase, please? What the fuck is this? Dude! This is just ridiculous. Just get to your next phase, please. What's going on here? Why are you taking so long to die? Why is my damage so goddamn low? Stop! Like, fucking get on with it! What the fuck are you doing? Fucking hell, finally, you fat prick. <laughs> My god. Right, we did it. Holy crap. My god, that Tainted Treasure Room was sick. <laughs> I loved that. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that one, and I will see you guys in the next one.